February 26, 2020, coronavirus update. So first I'm gonna start with dates and then I'm gonna start with the distances. So dates first. Coronavirus, as far as I know, appeared on uh, December 1st, uh, 2019. And on December 31st, 2019, Chinese government officially informed World Health Organization about existence of that virus now known as COVID-19. Who didn't know about it? The citizen of Wuhan. And I'm sure you know the story about the good doctor who tried to warn the public. He was silenced by the Chinese Communist Party and later on he died in the hospital from coronavirus. So January comes and the biggest migration in uh, human history starts and this is when Chinese workers are migrating from the industrial cities to the countryside to visit their families and this is of course the only moment they can actually visit their families because in Asia they do have public holidays but weekends not that much for the working class. So still nothing happens from the CCP, Chinese Communist Party is doing nothing, keeping mouths shut, silencing people and then when already 5 million people left the Wuhan province, then comes first the announcement that it exists, the virus, and then the quarantine of the whole city. Rest is history. So far, more than 70,000 people globally in, in, infected, more than 2,000 dead. So this was the, the numbers. Now the distances. 80 kilometers from here is Trieste. Trieste is in province Friuli Venezia Giulia, next to it is Veneto, next to Veneto is Lombardia, next to Lombardia is Piemonte, the city is Genova Piemonte, Milano Lombardia, Veneto Venezia and Trieste Friuli Venezia Giulia. So northern Italy, hundreds of people infected, so far four people dead and many stores completely empty. Another distance, 100 200 meters from here, Plodine supermarket. Yesterday I went there with my mother to buy some supplies for at least a couple of weeks. Uh, people are empty shelves. It's uh, not really a panic. Panic is in Italy, which is very, very close. And I know if uh, some um, typical Trump supporter from Midwest is listening to me, he would go, hey, wait a minute, Rusky. Your name is Krunoslav, you're Russian, you're supposed to be in Siberia, right? What kind of Italy talk is that? It can't be that, it's a Vladivostok right there. You rusty bastard, you call me son of a bitch. Well, no, 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 Johnny, no, no, no. I know that I'm Slavic, but Italy is very fucking close. And here in Rijeka we have shitloads of Italians, uh, pretty cool people, I can say, and we had a carnival, and while people been partying, Two kilometers from here, people there been panicking. And what happened is um, that right now we have something like uh, one mile away in that direction in KBC Rijeka or Clinical Hospital Center Rijeka. We have about nine people on observation and people came from the factory in northern Italy where they already diagnosed 20 people with coronavirus. So most probably it's already here officially speaking it's 150 kilometers that way in zagreb in the capital two corona cases confirmed both of them working for the ericsson tesla company first guy went to italy on some football match in milan and he came with the virus so what's so strange about this virus well, it's uh, the strange part is uh, it doesn't really behave normally. So seems like that the strain which hit China is not the same strain which hit Iran. Iran already 50 people dead, and seems like it mutated. Another strange thing, what happened in Italy, nobody knows really who's the patient zero. And another strange thing is uh, for Italy, it happened in the smaller cities like Vo. Uh, which are like have typically in two or three cities in uh, 
two three thousand people small towns so still nothing really big is happening in the bigger cities like Milan it's only a matter of hours another strange thing for Italy is it didn't happen in Germany and Germany has uh, much better connections with uh, China and Germany didn't cut off um, flights with China as Italy did it, it it really they reacted really promptly another strange thing with this virus is the in incubation period uh, we thought or at least doctors thought it's uh, 14 days but now seems like to be 20 27 days so it, it doesn't it takes very long incubation time incubation time is the time be between virus or bacteria entering the body in this case virus of course and then first symptoms that's so that's another thing and one thing I need to tell you is uh, well the mortality rate is about two or three percent and this is only because uh, there is very small number of people sick in Western countries so medical system is there to help however the number of trained personnel is a very small number of respiratory machines which are crucial for keeping people alive because the virus is typically killing people by infecting lungs and um, multiplying in lungs and then causing suffocation and other complications are it also attacks kidneys and it also attacks heart so it has multiple points of attack and then what happens is the you know the synergy other bacteria and other pathogens in the body also start to multiply because the um, immune system is weakened and then that causes a death so that's why deaths are typically occurring by the old people and of course uh, now I need to say thank you Denise uh, Denise gave me a link to the Dr. Campbell I uh, suggest to check his uh, uh, YouTube channel Dr. Campbell he's a British doctor and he gives uh, very good updates uh, at least once per day sometimes a couple of times per day so go check his channel due to te technical reasons I can't uh, link because I don't have a computer only smartphone so <sighs> that being said and um, another thing I really need to say is um, you know I understand uh, many people here are also coming uh, you know from the same mindset as I do very skeptical and everything so people are also putting in question is this virus real or are people being killed by the 5g in my understanding it's it's really real I was also skeptical at the beginning ah you know coronavirus SARS uh, fly you know bird bird flu variola vera all that is just uh, you know bullshit but now I know better and another thing is what you need to put in perspective our medical system is already uh, uh, stretched way stretched uh, Croatia is not example uh, many doctors and nurses went for the Western Europe and we have a you know chronic lack of uh, medical staff so in a city like this uh, all it needs maybe like two or three hundred people uh, sick and hospitalized from coronavirus and the system is already collapsing and the next thing is uh, they simply not gonna be taking people in hospitals another thing is what's the point of going to hospital if virus is airborne if you go to hospital or if you go to the you know quarantine zone that's basically a death trap so you know go figure guys you know you do your own mental calculations and and uh, gymnastics uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward conclusion there is simply no resources for the bigger groups of sick people and another thing what skeptics are saying oh you know who gives a shit flu kills in states 80,000 people per year through flu kills many uh, old and sick people and chronic uh, chronically sick people thing is flu can put you in a bed a couple of days a week and this thing is uh, keeping people in a bed in very sick state more than one month I think um, something like a month five six seven weeks and then people get better of course uh, most of the people get better especially people who are in their 20s and 30s and healthy and good for them however it takes long time so that leads me to another problem already I'm sure you already know it and this is the problem in supply chain sick people don't work 
so there is nobody to peddle those goods for the supermarkets to unload that stuff to produce uh, uh, you know food and etc so that's another issue however the biggest issue is speaking about the chronology two things are coming into my mind of course the bill gates and melinda gates foundation uh, correct me if i if i were wrong was it in davos they've done this uh, simulation of the uh, flu pandemic they put it in a um, context of um, south america and within a year it killed between 60 and 80 million people of course you know that bill gates is a reptilian motherfucking psychopath and of course that they are pushing this agenda of the mass vaccination of people through him so far people who've been vaccinated you know themselves they've been you know gullible idiots uh, doing that for themselves and their own children you know turning healthy kids into autistic idiots pardon my french but I'm speaking my mind as always however uh, this thing with the Bill Gates now coming is seems like guys it's gonna be mandatory and when they start pushing the corona flu vaccination which is by the way pointless because virus is mutating and you know va vaccines are of course a poison it's gonna be a global poison for all of us and that fucking sucks big time so I don't know how we're gonna escape that part but um, uh, by the way uh, the Winnie Pooh or Deng Xiaoping sorry not that one simply she President Xi uh, is uh, I think that that's the news from yesterday he publicly thanked uh, Bill Gates for his effort um, for um, you know coronavirus help and uh, you know what I think what's gonna happen now when my mind goes back to the history 14th century you guys you know that image of a grim reaper uh, the hooded person uh, with uh, with a saw right well story goes that that image came from a memory of our European ancestors from the 14th century they've been noticing very strange fi uh, figures in like really remote areas like Scandinavia Iceland as well no Iceland was not hit by the plague this was the only place but you know northern parts of Europe which are isolated from the from the commercial um, points of entry and I'll come to that later on so they've been noticing these uh, figures spraying something on the ground and later on a uh, whole village uh, would get sick from plague so the way how I understand these plagues everything is of course reptilian made everything is made for the control of population and um, and management of that population when people start to multiply way too fast when they start to enrich themselves way too fast the reptilian hand is there to, to suppress a human uh, progress and to curve it the way they like so now I think we came to the, to the peak of course it's the peak of human civilization and um, Armageddon is uh, behind the corner and I think it's already started with this uh, revelation from 2017 I, I think I made a video about that definitely I did uh, symbolics in the stars the birth pain of a virgin and so on parables are in the Bible but smarter, smarter people than me explain um, astrology behind that so go go check that and we are talking about the seven years of tribulations so we are now already deep within that period and um, basically guys uh, you know should hit the fan that's what I need to say should hit the fan and uh, now is the time to you know reap the efforts of your uh, preparation for this period uh, those of you who've been uh, fortunate with material goods um, I hope that you guys accumulated the uh, reserves of water reserves of food reserves of ammo uh, and uh, weaponry and uh, place B to retreat when really shit hits the fan in your area I I was aware of it very aware of it however I was already always under super 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 tight leash materially speaking and uh, although I knew that I need to re prepare myself and try to do that uh, it was simply not financially possible 
and when I had this little money of course I, I prefer to buy myself a ganja and take the edge off and uh, you know feel that happiness and I don't regret at all so yeah friends that's about it what I need to say sorry for my cursing if if this offends you you know you need to understand that authentic people tend to curse and that fake people tend to sound like bureaucrats in the courtroom that being said thank you for watching uh, thank you for uh, stopping by fuck Donald Trump fuck Hillary Clinton and uh, if I offended you by saying that you need to do some mental hygiene and figure it out what's going on in your brain so please uh, leave comments and uh, take care guys